We are Gabe and Meg. In October of 2019, we decided to leave our beloved city of Chicago and travel the world full time, starting in Central America. After six months of traveling in Guatemala, El Salvador, and Nicaragua, the COVID-19 pandemic completely changed our plans. With airports closing and a strict curfew in effect, we evacuated back to our home country. After weighing our options, we've decided to relocate to a country that has had one of the most successful responses to the virus. We're moving to Taiwan! We've packed up our bags once again and are ready to explore the food, culture, and customs of this amazing island nation. busiest airport is empty tonight. Look, I can run through JFK. There's no one here. Oh my God, I'm, I'm alone in JFK. Thank you very much. So Meg and I have flown from Chicago to Taipei direct. It was about 15 hours. This is a 16 hour flight. So this is the longest flight that either of us have ever taken before. Now the good stuff, jackpot, jackpot. We got three things. Yeah. And for Gabe, something more substance, tuna sandwich. Very fresh. How much was the total, Megan? $36. That's very reasonable, right? One of the many reasons why this flight will not be crowded today is because tourists are not currently allowed in Taiwan. We have applied for our residency visa. We have our resident visa in our passports right now, and that is why we are able to go to Taiwan right now, because we are going to seek employment. We feel quite lucky that we're able to get on this flight. Something tells me that we'll be one of the very few foreigners getting on this flight. It seems like most folks are just going home. We are actually going into Taipei. <laughs> Good thing is though that they have not reported a single domestically transmitted case in over 100 days. So we are going to an essentially COVID free environment. And we plan on keeping it that way. That's why once we get there, there will be a 14 day mandatory quarantine at a special hotel. You will be there with us the whole time. Mm -hmm. We will not be allowed to leave our rooms. We're going to get all of our meals delivered to our hotel room. We will be stuck there for 14 days. She's sick of me anyway. It's fine. It's fine. I think I already found some entertainment. Yeah, and these are, these are our seats right here, guys. Sorry, folks, we ain't Kara and Nate. We can't do that stuff. We're basic. <laughs> I believe this is the premium economy class. Looks, looks pretty premium. We have arrived. <laughs> 61. 61, Megan. You gotta keep going. Yeah, it's baby. No, 61, hun. We're way in the back of this place. Yep, 61, uh, A. Yeah, perfect. All the crew are wearing full on, almost like hazmat suits. Like, everyone has disposable outer layers, mask, and uh, glasses on. I don't blame them. I mean, they're, they're right, you know. This is what our flight's gonna be like. Right over the North Pole. Isn't that cool? Pretty bland 
even flavorless. <laughs> oh no. You know, it's edible. It's edible. <laughs> it's a good standard, right? EVA, it's edible. Oh, it's a good airline. I'm sorry, EVA. <laughs> Is even a broccolini in here? Pretty good. Pretty good. I ate like half my plate of pasta and then the plate started shaking a little violently. So it's all put that about. 12 hours in, how you feeling, baby doll? Sleepy. We're just about 20 minutes from landing in Taipei. Very long flight from JFK. I gotta say, it went by pretty quickly. Food was eh, a little bit of turbulence, but it's all right. But this is also kind of a bittersweet moment for us. We're coming in on residential visas to do some to teach English here in Taiwan. And the only way they're letting us in right now is if we agree to a two-week mandatory quarantine in a specialized quarantine hotel. Now, during that time, we're not going to be staying in the same bedroom. We'll be apart, but it's something we're willing to do so that we can get into the beautiful, lovely country of Taiwan that we've been to once before. Now, Megan's going to have all of our equipment, so I'm wondering what she's going to be filming for you during those two very exciting weeks locked in our hotel rooms. So if you were stuck in quarantine for two weeks by yourself, what would you do to pass the time? I've got some books, I've got some drawing materials, but other than that, scrap it for things to do. What would you do? Leave us a comment below. And it should be said that the government of Taiwan is paying for our quarantine. We will be having specialized SIM cards in our phones so that uh, we can be called every day, they'll be checking in on us, and there are hefty penalties for anyone who breaks quarantine, so we do not plan on doing that. There's also going to be a thermometer in our room so we can keep track of our temperature and let the Taiwanese government know if we are experiencing any symptoms. They were maybe secretly drugging us up so that we could just sleep. <laughs> Felt like it. We both knocked out. If so, I don't really have a problem with it. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 I think I remember how to walk. Yeah? Oh, yes. Nothing to see. Just making sure I'm getting the right one. Nothing to declare. Megan, you got any pigs on you? No pics today? So we need to go find a SIM card before we can get into the country. The SIM card over here. Thank you. And please keep social distance, please. Yes, thank, thank you. you. It's required of everyone coming into Taiwan so they can keep track of us during our quarantine and make sure we don't leave our rooms. This is the one. And one by one. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is a long process. Yes. All right. Looks like we're about to legally enter Taiwan here. Here, my phone. Yep. And my passport. Here we go. Thank you very much. Okay. Any question, you can call this number. 1922. And September 10, you can go outside. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Uh, I have one question. Yeah. At the quarantine hotel, can we quarantine in the same room or separate rooms? Uh, separate rooms. Separate rooms. Yeah. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank you. It really wasn't that bad. We went by pretty quickly, did what we needed to do, got our SIM cards, but I think there's more ahead. All right, here's the very last step before we can actually get into Taiwan. Okay. This lady is taking us over to take us to a car or a taxi or however we're getting to our quarantine hotel. So because of COVID restrictions, we're actually not allowed to take public transportation. We have to make sure that we're taking a, a proof of transportation out of here just to avoid any cross-infection, you know? 
So they're being very meticulous about how we go about getting into the country and how we go about getting into the city of Taipei. Well, here we are, we haven't seen the sunlight in like uh, 17 or 20 hours. Outdoors, ready to quarantine. Come on. All right. Just the chair. Trying to figure this out myself. You said this is for my shoes, yeah? Oh, okay, I get it now. All right. Like this? Like this? Yeah. All right. All right. Just making sure I'm doing this right. <laughs> All right, plastic on the shoes. Thank you so much for watching our first episode in Taipei, Taiwan. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. And if you like what you saw, give us a like. We have many more episodes in Taiwan coming up. So if you have any suggestions for what we should do in Taipei or anywhere in Taiwan, please let us know in the comments below.